Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm just doing a video right now uh, to show you sort of my prized possessions in my uh, in my movie collection. It started. It's starting to get uh, actually bigger finally. Uh, after all my shit uh, went missing over the years, uh, I finally managed to get myself kind of back into the <clears throat> swing of things here. Uh, but anyways, uh, needless to say, my collection has. Uh, has grown vastly over over the last uh, couple years, and uh, I just figured let you guys see what my favorite favorite things in this are. I I mean I'm sure I don't have anything that impressive, but these are things that I'm happy to own, and I might even take a few of them apart to show you you know the different reasons as to why I like them and you know that kind of thing. This might take a couple parts actually. I don't I don't really know. Uh, but anyway. I'm going to start you off with a couple of VHS, or no, I'm not, uh, I'm, quick little update actually first, I just picked these up, uh, yesterday I paid fucking eight bucks for both of these, uh, together, uh, Night of the Living Dead, <clears throat> sorry by the way about everything being turned backwards, I don't know how to switch my webcam right now, but, uh, Night of the Living Dead, uh, made 1990, yep, er, pretty sure this is made in 1990, doesn't say on the back, but, <clears throat> Oh, yeah, it does. 1990, yep. So, uh, Night of the Dead. Of course, uh, Tom Zavini, I believe, directed that one. And, uh, this one, I was, uh, what I was kind of, I just watched this for the first time. Uh, My Bloody Valentine. The 3D isn't very good. I think this came out when 3D movies just started coming back. So, it wasn't the best 3D, but, uh, whatever. Yeah, it was, it was okay. Uh, I, I, honestly, I have the original and I've never watched it. Stupid me. I guess I should really get on that. <clears throat> but yeah. Anyway, just picked those two up the other day. Uh, okay, we're going to start off with some VHS tapes. Now, this is one that uh, I just kind of kept this. I had the game with it, but I uh, got rid of it because it was missing all the missing most of the pieces. So I was like, well, that sucks. I got it at a garage sale. But I kept the movie uh, Nightmare. Uh, it comes in this little felt thing. And, you know, Nightmare, the video board game. From the fucking 90s, early 90s probably. Fucking wicked, actually. Yeah, it doesn't say the year. Oh yeah, 1991. Anyway, yeah, this always scared me when I was a kid. I always got my cousin to put it on for me so I could just watch it. I never actually did play the game, so the video is what I was intrigued by. Uh, <clears throat> next up, I don't have the cover for this one, but I've seen a few people talking about it online, so I figured I'd show it. Zombie Nightmare with Adam West. Yeah, man. Fucking. Why not, right? Zombie Nightmare. I, I actually got that for free. I was living in a house, and I found it in the fucking basement. So it was like, sweet. And this one also is one I found. Uh, the Hitcher. Really good copy of it, too. Yeah, found that in Buddy's basement, and he was like, fucking give her a mask. Thank you. Uh. Next up, I guess I'll, I don't know. I'll go to, yeah, I'll go to DVDs. Uh. Okay, so. This is one that I'll show you a little bit about. Uh, this is a DVD of Cannibal Ferox. Uh, fucking... I watched, this is the first Cannibal movie I watched, actually, and I loved this movie. Uh, it's cool, though, because it comes with, <clears throat> well, this didn't come with it, but I put it in here. I ordered this patch the same time I got the movie, and I <clears throat> got the patch so you can sew it on something. I just keep it. I threw it on something a few times, but in the end, I just kind of like having it, so I could put it in the case, and came with this poster, looking, uh, the movie make them die slowly. So yeah, this is a cool addition. This was actually, I think, my first ever Amazon buy because uh, I wanted to start getting rarer movies. All the movies I had were, you know, your generic shit, Friday the 13th and stuff. So that was cool. Uh, next up, of course, we have Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, this would be the, I don't know what it, oh, it's Deluxe Edition of Cannibal Holocaust. 
I like how it's got that, and then you pull it out, and it's got this cover underneath. It's got shit tons of features, man. <clears throat> this version's awesome, and, uh, you know, two discs, right? Uh, also came with a wicked fucking poster. This was, These were both the last two movies that I've been showing. Like, yeah. Hanacosto Cannibal. <laughs> you know, that's fucking, fucking awesome, right? Uh, the, uh... These were both Grindhouse releases, which I was really stoked to pick up. Also, another Amazon buy. Uh, then we've got here uh, Cannibal the Musical. Uh, this is a Trey, Trey Parker and Matt Stone's, I believe, first project. Uh, double disc from Troma. I don't know, not, not much else to it, but fucking awesome. Like, this movie's hilarious. And you get to see a lot of, like, stuff from South Park that you never would have, like, you know, the original, you know, some of the voices and whatnot. So, that was kind of cool. They had sort of a Saddam Hussein mixed with Cartman voice going on in the background at one point. Uh, next up. I found this at the fucking HMB in town, and I couldn't fucking believe they had this. Uh, Blue Underground release of City of the Living Dead, Lucio Falci. Uh, I think this might have been fucking the very first uh, release of this out here, maybe. Well, probably not, but it has no features or anything. Anyway, uh, yeah, Wicked fucking, to be honest, I never understood this fucking movie, like, at all. Like, I've never understood it. Uh, it's entertaining, like, but I just, I just don't, you know, with Lucio Falci, most of the things that he makes I don't really understand, so, needless to say, I liked it, you know, it was, I liked it to a point, it's not my favorite Lucio Falci movie, but it's not bad. Um, and I need to get uh, the Beyond, I don't have that. Uh, next up, oh, uh, another Lucio Fulci movie. Um, this one, this, this is a, uh, I, I showed this to my buddy. I bought this for fucking like four or five bucks or something on, on Amazon. And I was like, why is it so fucking cheap? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know, I've got the shirt even on right now. Uh, but yeah, the, like, I was like, why is this so cheap? And my buddy looked at it, and he's like, man, this is the biggest fucking bootleg copy of something I've ever seen. And I was like, really? Yeah, it's a fucking bootleg. It comes, it, it, it's in four fucking, uh, I popped it in just to check out, like, the scene selection and stuff. And there's only four scenes. The movie comes in four parts on this. So, yeah, biggest bootleg ever, but whatever. It's kind of funny to own. I, whatever, obscurity, you know, for obscurity's sake. Uh... Next up, we've got, uh, we've got Blood Feast. Uh, I picked this up in Edmonton when I was on a fucking mass DVD buying spree. And, uh, this is wicked, man. I mean, Blood Feast, fucking classic. Love this fucking movie so much. I, uh, yeah, there, there's nothing, you know, it's, it's so cheesy. But, you know, I don't even look at cheesy movies sometimes like they're cheesy. I look at them like they're a completely different world. So... Yeah, I don't know. I, I really like Blood Feast, man. I want to get the sequel. I haven't fucking come across it yet. Or bothered buying it on, like, Amazon or anything. Uh, next up. Uh, <laughs> cannabinoid, humanistic, under... Fuck. Yeah. Chuck. Anyway, um, this was, uh, this is a, I don't know, it's not the best fucking copy of Chud, I'm sure. I'm sure there's better versions of this out, out there, but, uh, no, I, I was really happy to pick this up, man. Uh, another one I got on my Edmonton DVD buying spree. I fucking went just crazy. And, uh, sorry, man. Uh, got a bit of a cold. But, yeah, no, fucking wicked movie, man. Uh, at least it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites. Oh, here's one that I never thought I'd... Oh, 